Hello and welcome to another installment of the Nixon Notebook. Today we're going to be looking at the intrusion detection system capabilities of the Nixon Net Detector and Net VCR. Intrusion detection in the Net Detector and Net VCR functions as a continuous application. So it will constantly watch the traffic on the wire and look for certain signatures in that traffic that are predefined or that you defined in order to detect anomalies or malicious traffic or anything that meets those signatures. Following that, it can be emailed to a person, it can be sent to a syslog server or a number of other ways to send out an alert to say that the signature has been matched and warrants further review. To access the IDS components in the Nixon Net Detector and NetVCR, we go up to the configuration menu. Once that loads, we're going to look under alarms and signature IDS, which is going to show us the signature IDS page. Now we can see here that the status of this current unit is monitoring, so it is looking at the current traffic and matching it against the signatures. We can enable or disable it here. The monitoring interface, as with all other parts of the Nixon Net Detector, you can select either a packet capture that you've previously uploaded or any of the active monitoring interfaces on the unit itself. We can even add filters, so we can go in and say downloads traffic or external traffic that meets our certain predefined host pairs and uh, network pairs or applications, internal traffic, and so forth. And then we can look under severities for warning, severe, and critical, and those things are set within the signature as to which it matches. Under monitoring interval, we can select continuous, which means it constantly monitors, or that we only look at the last hour's worth of traffic, or that we start and stop at a, uh, a certain time or day, that we can look back at what has been recorded by the NetVCR and reapply those signatures to see if any of those actions actually happened during that time period. And then we get into notifications. Under notifications, we have a common event format server. This can be defined here as a basically a syslog server that understands and can parse common event format. So if you have one of those, you can enter that server address here. You can also enter email addresses, and the IDS system will send those alerts to the people specified in the email address list here. Or you can set up an SNMP trap. So if you have a network monitoring station that can receive SNMP traps and then act on them, you can define that server here. We can also set the trap severities as warning, severe, and critical, or all. And those will be sent matching those severities. We can also specify a syslog server, and this is just standard syslog. So if you have a syslog server, you can enter the IP address here, and that server will receive the alert and enter it into whatever log format that you happen to define. Now, the heart of the intrusion detection system are the signatures. These are the things that actually match the traffic that's seen on the wire and generate those alerts. We can view and manage those signatures right up here under View and Manage Signatures. If we look down, we will see an awful lot of predefined signatures that Nixon has put in there, including a bunch of de denial of service rules, some voice over IP rules, web client, PHP. There are also malware rules that match bad traffic and attack responses from known malware exploits and exploits themselves, which are other viruses and, and other things that would be uh, detrimental to the network. These rules already exist and are active as soon as you activate the IDS functionality of the net detector and the net VCR. We also have specific application rules that detect and define certain applications as I cross the wire like MySQL, SNMP, chat, and so forth. We have some mail rules and standard network protocols like RPC and Telnet. Now, if we take a look at these rules, we will see that they are defined here with these signatures. So we have an alert of TCP from an external network to any Telnet servers matching port 23, which is the known Telnet port, the TCP Telnet port. And the message is that there was a Telnet uh, Solaris memory management exploit attempt uh, established content, and then if this content matches, that exploit will have been uh, matched as a signature. Now we can go in and we can enable or disable each of these individual rules by their ID under the predefined rules, or of course we can create our own rules. So if we go back to the, the view manage signatures and we select the view, this will show us all of the signatures. We can go in under local rules and we can go down here to select add and then we can add a signature here that would be added to the IDS signature list and any traffic that matches that, the, that signature will then generate an alert just like all of the predefined ones. So that's a way to easily add IDS functionality to your network with a Nixon Net Detector and the NetVCR. VCR.